Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan, and today we're going to be looking into Sora, OpenAI's impressive text-to-video model. We will see what Sora is capable of, how artists are already using Sora, and take a look into the details of why it's so much better than the competition. Firstly, it's important to note that Sora is not yet publicly available. However, it's been released to a handful of artists and creative agencies to see what they're able to produce with it. So we'll take a look at some of the early results of that. Let's dive in. This is the first music video created using Sora by August Camp. It's called World Wait. Now we'll take a look at Airhead, directed by Walter Woodman of Shy Kids Animation Company. Airhead is one of the first short films made using Sora. Well, they say everyone has something unique about them, something that sets them apart. It's just in my case, you know, it's quite obvious what that thing is. I am literally filled with hot air. Yeah, living like this has its challenges. Uh, windy days, for one, are particularly troublesome. Or well, there was a one time my girlfriend insisted I go to the cactus store to get my Uncle Jerry a wedding present. Sora is hands down the highest quality video model out there right now. So what sets Sora apart from other video AI models? Here's a research paper that does a great job of explaining each of the characteristics in depth and how they attribute to Sora's success. The first thing is resource scale. Sora uses extensive computational resources known as GPUs, graphic processing units, for training and generating video. The extensive use of GPUs enables Sora to process videos quickly and efficiently, though it also means higher energy consumption and costs. Other things related to the scale are the vast amount of data that it's being trained on and the duration of training period. Training on a large scale helps Sora learn a wide variety of video content and styles, improving its ability to generate realistic and diverse videos. Outside of resource scale, there are architectural considerations that make Sora very efficient. The two main ones are time-space compression and video transformation. Sora uses a time-space compressor. This component compresses video data into a more manageable form for processing, akin to summarizing a long article into key points. It helps reduce the complexity of videos so that the model can understand and manipulate them more easily. There's also Vision Transformer, also known as VIT. Originally designed for images, Vision Transformers break down the visual content into patches and analyze these patches to understand the overall image. In Sora, the VIT analyzes compressed video data, helping the model grasp complex visual information across frames, contributing to better video generation. Then you have clip-like guidance mechanism. Clip is a model that can understand images by comparing them with textual descriptions. It ensures the video lines with user-provided descriptions or prompts. Another impressive thing about Sora is its ability to understand 3D spaces in a scene. Despite not using explicit 3D models, Sora can simulate 3D consistently throughout dynamic camera motions and object interactions, making the model understand and simulate physical interactions within a digital environment. Oddly enough, Sora's ability to process videos in their original format without loss of quality makes it highly adaptable to various content types and increasing the volume of data that it's able to be trained on. This is done mostly by avoiding traditional reprocessing like cropping. All of these things have led to emergent abilities, which is similar to what we've seen in large language models where sophisticated behaviors emerge that were not explicitly programmed, such as understanding complex interactions within a video. The significance of this 
is that the abilities allow Sora to generate videos that reflect a deep understanding of the content, surpassing basic pattern recognition or memorization typical in earlier models. There's considerable discussion going on as to what this technology stands to gain from hardware innovations such as computational efficiency increases. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, useful, or entertaining in any capacity, please consider giving it a like or subscribing to our channel.